Hello everyone, I'm Celsius. Nice to meet you here again. Today, I would like to discuss with you with this BMW F30. Okay, the BMW F30 is the sixth generation about BMW 3 Series. At very first, we called it E21, then E30, E36, E46, E90, and F30. Okay, after F30, do you have any idea? Okay, it's called G20. The G20 and later is what number? I uh, forget it, I'm sorry, because I am not familiar with those new cars. Well, the F30 is the successor from the E90. Actually, they are many, very much similar with the exterior. That's very interesting because since E21, the E30, E36, E46, E90 are totally different from their former 3 Series, but not for the F30. You can see the exterior of F30, it just like the E90 minor change and minor change, especially at the rear. The rear of F30 is just similar with the LCI BMW E90. That's very interesting. Actually, this F30's designer is totally different from the E90. Since E46, the BMW exterior for the 3 series or 5 series or 7 series is corresponded to uh, is responsible for uh, the Chris Bangle. <laughs> but that, to my surprising is the E46 style is totally different from the E90. And uh, when F30 the designer is not Chris Bango anymore, it becomes the Adrian. This guy still preserves so the many many factors from Chris Bango. For example, the tail lamps and the front. There are a lot of factors the same as the E90. But Adrian still do some revolution. Okay, let's take a look about the detail. At the very first, we got the same engine hood design which is not uh, take with the front grille. Actually, just the BMW E46 got the front grille with the engine hood and the F30 got the logo right here do you remember that when we got the BMW E90 we have a little bit front grille with the engine hood but now it got a little bit space from the front uh, from the front grille to the engine hood and we get the logo right here just the same as the F10 BMW 5 series and there is another revolution for the F30 is we got a strict directly connection with the front grille with the headlamps it is the very first design for the BMW 3 series at very first we got a E21 or E30 we got the single circle or twin circle at the headlamp that, that, that is not possible for those design uh, with the headlamp direct with the front grille but since the E36 they got the square with the two circle inside but since F30 and the later G20 we got the headlamp connect with the front grille just, just right from this generation and what else we got what do we got? We got a different design at the air dam. Before F30, we got the parallel air dam at the right, at the left, and at the center. But since F F30, we got a little bit teeny for the center air intake. But well, this car is 316i. It is the entry level for the F30. So we don't have the front grille right here. It is just decoration and it's not for air intake. But if you got a different uh, segment, for example, if you got luxury, you got a margin, you got a sport, that will be the air intaker right here. Okay, and there is still another different design from E30, e F30 to E90. The engine hood, uh, 
if we take a look back to the E21, E30, or E36, E46, we just got two lines at the engine hood. But when we got the, e, uh, the F30, we got four lines. Two for the straight, two for a little bit circle. That's very interesting. That's different design from the E90 to um, F30. Well, actually, the total style is just similar with the E90. There still got some difference at the side design. For example, the BMW 3 Series, when it comes from the E21, we got the short shoulder line right here. But when the E30, uh, E21, E30, and E36, even E46, the shoulder line is straight. But when we go to the E90, the shoulder line start from the lower place and ended at the higher place and even to the tail lamps. The F30 got the same design, but the F30 has another short shoulder line at the bottom of the doors right here. So we can see the door didn't get a protection line right here. Uh, it's different from the E46, but we got another another line right here. That would be another design for the side, different from E90 to F30. Certainly, uh, we still got the Hofmeister King at the C pillar. Even the G20, G30 BMW got this design, uh, and it is even um, I think it is a kind of tra trademark for the BMW all BMW got this design of Meister King except the convertible okay and when we see the tail the tail design uh, it's just similar with the minor change the LCI E90 no matter the ducktail and uh, trunk lid or the tail lamps they are they are similar very similar I, I have no idea but when we got to the g20 the tail lamp are totally different style that, that that's called full model change so we can see if we take a look at this angle for the f30 you will think if this is f30 or e90 lci actually they are similar okay and there is another different from the f30 to E90 is we got a difference back for the 3 series. Before F30, we just got a normal uh, BMW 3 series and maybe M package, M sport. But since F30, we got a different level. We got a basic, just what we see now. And we got luxury, we got modern, we got uh, sport, and even the M sport. We got a different segment. Just like the B, uh, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, when C-Class got to the W202, the very first C-Class, we got classic, we got aspirate, we got elegance, we got sport, and the BMW is mm, late for the segment, the uh, decision, uh, selection. Uh, till F30, we just got a norm, uh, the basic, uh, sport, luxury, and modern, and they are a little bit difference at the front bumper rail bumper and interior design and if you get those segments for example you got luxury you got a modern you got a sport there will be a logo right at the front fender right here and there's another interesting is that the China mainland get produced this F30 for the long well based version uh, they got individual chassis number for example this is f30 for uh bmw 3 series four door sedan and uh, the chinaman and the version long wheel version got maybe f3 f34 or f35 i'm not sure and they're got a little bit different from the c pillar they still get the uh, the arrows uh, the long wheel base version will get hofmeister king as well but they still got a little bit different design at the C pillar, and the rear bumper is still got a little bit different from the normal F3 uh, F F30 3 series. Certainly, that's for the China mainland exclusively. Uh, 
if you want to buy it except China mainland, that will get a, a little bit difficult. Okay, that's the design of the F30 for the exterior. Actually, uh, this generation 3 Series get bigger than E90. Certainly, every generation get bigger, bigger, and bigger. The dimension for F30 is even the same as the BMW E34 5 Series. So, uh, the G20 is a little bit bigger than the E34. Maybe someday, the BMW 3 Series will be bigger than the BMW very first 7 Series called E23. Um, I think it is possible and maybe it will become true um, not, not long. Not, uh, uh, very short in the future. Okay, let's take a look about the interior. The interior didn't get any similar with the E90. That's very interesting. If you ever seen the E9, the, ever saw the E90's interior, you will see the difference from E90 to F30. Actually, when the very first BMW 3 series called E21 we get the dashboard take for the driver's side for example we are now the get left hand drive side so the uh, dashboard will get a little bit closer to the driver's side but that is not at E90 the E90 was inspir inspired from the E65 7 series since the E65 7 series and later E65 series, the BNR get the same cockpit at the dashboard. Not for the driver's side. They are totally the same at the driver's side and the front seat side. That's a little bit of pity because I think the BMW is sheer driving pleasure. You should design the dashboard for the driver more. So the BMW get this idea back at F30. So we get the new dashboard, totally different from the E90. And they still got a little bit different from the tachometer, uh, speedometer, and we got the screen right here. And certainly there's a, another big change for the interior is this gear knob. Actually, this gear knob is very exquisite. I like this one. And it got an eight-speed eight automatic transmission. Certainly, it is electronic, and it got very good acceleration. For example, this car is 316i. It just produced 136 brake horsepower. But when you drive this car, you wouldn't believe that it is just merely 136 horsepower. It just drives like, like maybe 180 horsepower. It got very good at acceleration and very good at top, top speed. The very important factor is this transmission box. This transmission box do very well, do very hard when you accelerate. When you get a gear change, they get a very good performance right here. Well, uh, and this is entry level. So this car didn't get uh, the gear change panel at the handle and it, it didn't get cru cruise control as well this one is limit it's for your speed limit and that represent your acceleration pedal is electronically it is not normal mechanism okay but i think this, this limitation is very useful i like to drive with this design because uh we will when we driving at the downtown or at the highway, we will occasionally over the speed limit. If you set settle it down, you won't you won't worry about uh, the ticket come to knock your door uh, weeks later. Okay, this car is bigger than the the dimension for F30 is bigger than the E90. So the interior design the. It, it called space is totally spacious and this car is basic model so we, we don't get the, the the sunroof so we got a very good space at the back seat and I couldn't imagine if this is for the uh, China mainland uh, long wheel version it will be even space more spacious uh, 
back seat for three series. I could understand why the Chinaman and the customer would like to buy such wide, such specials for the BMW Mini 3 Series. I, I couldn't understand about that. And I, I am curious about uh, how about the driving for the China mainland long wheel version BMW 3 Series. I'm, I'm quite curious about that. Okay, this generation about BMW 3 Series is presented at 2011. And uh, go to the market for the 2012 February for the European for the USA and we got the presentation in Taiwan at March 2012 and at the very first we just got 328i and 335i uh, the 328i is 2.0 turbo engine and the 335i is 3.0 turbo engine and the diesel engine we got 318D and 320D and the 320D efficient, efficient dynamics those three segments and later we have the 320i and later this 316i and after minor change the engine get a little bit different the entry level is we got the 318i to replace the 316i but that's very interesting the 318i is not for 1.8 it is for 1.5 turbo three cylinder so there is uh, some people say this 318 three cylinder comes from 320 2.0 turbo engine without one cylinder that's very interesting i don't know if it is true or not um pe some people say about that and this car uh, I, I i would like that this car more than the 318 because i don't like the three cylinder because they will got some uncomfortable uh design and maybe some sound some shaking is not fun comf uh, it's not comf comfortable okay and actually this car is just 36 316 with 136 horsepower but with this very good design a speed automatic transmission this car get driving very well very full of driving pleasure I'm so recommend of this car but if you want to buy this car please take very care of this engine this engine is easily to get some problem inside uh, maybe for the oil maybe for the a lot of problem you gotta take your attention to take care of this engine and it got a very high temperature because they got a turbo charger so please uh, change the holes the oil pipe when the, when the kilos or the time uh, runs out please change it and you can keep this car with a very good condition as well okay this is our video to talk about the BMW F33 series and I'm sorry this is for the public parking lot so we got uh, some people rest right here with the engine sound maybe we're not very quiet for the background and I hope you can understand about that okay i'm Celsius. nice to meet here nice to meet you here with this f30 and hope to see you again with another interesting cars let's see you bye bye